just whatever your number one intention is. Could be for your business, could be for your life. I'm definitely gonna start doing downloads for business, definitely the seven main areas that increase your impact and income supports you with. But then as we go through some areas in your life that you're like, oh, this is a big problem, you could be like, oh, I don't think it's related to my business. Like sometimes people will be like, I'm having a really codependent experience with my boyfriend right now. And then it's like, oh, well, when you clear that, then that allows you to not be so codependent with some clients, not be in such an needy energy with like bringing in things and that can support other things. So we'll kind of go with the flow tonight. I like having like the structure of, we're gonna do those seven main areas, which I'll talk about as soon as I get it streaming on Facebook. But then we can totally open it up for all the things. Okay, so the Facebook's gonna go. Let's see what everyone's intentions are. <laughs> My value and money blocks, awesome. So I'll write some of this stuff down to make sure I get it. Abundance, clients, money, yes. So grateful for the amazing weekend I've had with my family and friends, yay. Okay, my intention is to clear away the junk that keeps holding me back from increasing my income and visibility. Awesome, we'll definitely be doing lots of downloads on that. I'm so grateful for my body healing so quickly. Yay, my intention is to feel safe in my body and allow myself to receive more pleasure and even more abundance. Mm. Safe in body, all the pleasure and abundance. Okay, and then certainty, uncertainty, confusion, and my boundaries in regards to intimacy, sex, sensuality. Mm. Let go of the reasons to keep myself small. Mm. Such good ones. Being vibrantly healthy and abundant. Yay! I'm letting go of emotional eating and self sabotage. Yes, self sabotage can be huge. And for emotional eating, I'm also going to like lump in numbing out things because um, a lot of people will like turn to like drinking or numbing out with TV or become a workaholic if they don't want to like actually look at a problem. They're just like, I'm going to like put my head down and work like a freaking workhorse. And then you're just like a hamster going at a million miles and still not necessarily getting the results that you want. Because then you're in hyper masculine energy instead of like actually just clearing the next thing that's ready to be cleared and then moving forward. Okay. And if you are watching on Facebook right now, I have a link to join us. So if you want to join us in the Zoom room, that's how I'm going to like do the hot seats for clearing. That's where I'm going to be paying attention to the chat. Um, I don't currently see the Facebook chat in front of me. So if you want to join us over in the Zoom, definitely pop in below um, to that Zoom room link. I am letting go of the fear and invisible line that I can't cross. Mm. Invisible barriers can be like big things to hold people back. So lines, ceilings, all kinds of good things. And this one is going to be different than the other ways that I've done it because I'm focusing more on what you guys are bringing to me than like a pre-done thing in my head of what I was thinking of, but it's still mostly going to be along the lines of increasing your impact and income, which basically everything can be along those lines of increasing your impact and income. So it's fun that basically anything that you want to get cleared can get cleared from you. Okay, so anyone who's unfamiliar to me, I know that a lot of people are going to share this with some friends. So I'm Laura McPhee. I'm a speaker, healer, and coach, and I love to help light workers increase their impact and income in the world because it's so time right now to really show up and be the change that you wish to see in the world. And the world is so needing it and being very, very, very rewarding to the people who are standing up and being leaders of love and change right now in the world. So that's super exciting. Um, so I'm a Theta Healer, Master Reiki Practitioner. I'm a mastery university grad in the Tony Robbins world. So I have the conscious pieces and the subconscious pieces, the masculine energy and the feminine energy. I am highly sensitive. I'm an empath, clear cognizant. In human design, I'm a reflector. So there's four main types if you're knowing your human design. And if you don't know your human design, definitely check that out because that can very much impact your business and your life and like how you can ideally show up for yourself and your clients. Um, so in human design, there is 
manifesting generators, generators, projectors, and reflectors. So out of all those four types, reflectors are 1% because it's not really needed in human society to have a lot of like mirrors and like gauge dippers of like what the universe is doing. So the benefit of me being a reflector is that I'm the 1% of human design that all of my centers, all of my channels are open. So when I get beautiful light workers in front of me, I get to allow you guys to experience what life is like when you're completely unblocked, when you're totally in flow and there's no blockages in your channels, in your centers. So the other awesome part of that is that I'm an amplifier. So you get to be amplified like way more than just 10X being in my presence. So that's why it's awesome to have intentions. It's awesome to have goals that you're working for in front of me because they get to be amplified. I could literally do nothing on this call and just like sit in front of you and it would help your energy out. So I always love like tuning into the fun human design aspects of it because that has been a huge part of like owning what my human design is to like expand my business. And you guys knowing like as a projector, you are the lighthouse. Stand in your light and shine and let people come towards you. Wait for the invitation. If you're like a generator, be like, okay, I'm going to adapt with what's going on around me. And I totally own that. I have a ton of energy to like burn that when I wake up, I have energy to burn and you get to like work like that. Um, so there's so many benefits. If you don't know your human design, obviously I'm pretty excited about it, but I don't have expertise in that. I have people that I could send you about human design stuff, but that also felt like a powerful thing today to kind of bring into own who you are, own your uniqueness. So like giving you permission to like truly own that felt really powerful. Okay. So the overview of tonight is basically going to free flow into the stuff that some people have already shared that they want to get cleared into going into hot seats. So I had some people who I'd reached out to and that they had reached out to me beforehand that they're like, oh my gosh, I really want to clear this stuff. Um, and then we're kind of going to leave time. It'll be like 60 to 90 ish minutes, max 90 minutes to really like deep dive into what's coming up for you lovely souls so that we can clear at least go of what's been holding you back. So I've been doing other workshops, free trainings, masterclasses like this um, that have been a little bit more structured and that I go through the seven big gaps that I'm finding in lightworkers that are holding in the back from really showing up and having the impact in the world that they're desiring to have. Um, so I'll go through those just so you guys can know more of the areas to focus on with some of your clearings, but we can also expand as time goes on into other things. Cause like I was saying earlier, I think before I started putting it to Facebook was, um, sometimes you'll think there's a block in one area of your life and you're like, oh yeah, that's just like, I'm being a little bit codependent in my relationship with my boyfriend. But it's like, okay, that codependent energy can totally be showing up with your clients right now with like needy and feeling like constricted or walking on eggshells around what you want to post or what you want to offer next. So that can also be affecting several areas of your life because life doesn't exist in a vacuum. What's affecting one area can be affecting several. So we can also tune into those things. And hey, everyone in the chat joining on. Okay, so Haley, my intention is to allow myself to be prosperous as a healer, a strong leader, coach, and yoga teacher. Awesome. Yeah, stepping back into leadership is awesome. So I'll put that on the list. Natalie says, I'm a projector, so my intention is to let go of what's preventing me from standing in my light and shining. Yes, beautiful. Yeah, there's some powerful, like, own your truth kind of stuff going on. And not comparing yourself to someone else and being like, well, someone else is doing it this way. So if I do X, Y, Z, just like they've been doing, I should get their X, Y, Z result. But that's not how the world works. You are a unique being, just like you can't eat the exact same thing that someone else is eating or that probably like 90% of the people are eating and be like, oh, I'm gonna get the same results as them. Your body's unique. So your energy is very unique to you as well. And Whitley, that sounds like me, Laura, LOL. Which part sounds like you? Are you wanting something specifically to get cleared for around your human design? Let me know and I'll add that in. Okay. So it's also important to be hydrated throughout this entire thing. The main modality I'll be using is theta healing. So we're going deep into your subconscious mind, into your theta brainwave, and you naturally normally go into your theta brainwave every single night when you go to sleep. So it's a normal part that your brain knows how to do. And we essentially just tap into your subconscious mind because out of the entire whole capacity of your mind, only 5% is conscious. So desiring to make more money, to have your first five, 10, 15 K month, to be able to travel and have the freedom to have the lifestyle and business that you desire to have the impact on the world that you're here to create. Wanting and desiring that is 5% of your entire mind's capacity. 
So the other 95% is just beneath the surface. And that's what we're going to be focusing on. Our subconscious mind is mostly formed between the age of zero and seven. So what your teachers and what your family and what the people in society around you thought was just like osmosis. You kind of just absorbed it like a sponge, which was awesome because you learned how to learn your native English language mostly for most people by osmosis. You just got to receive that. Unfortunately, belief systems like stress, burnout, lack, not good enough, imposter syndrome, those kind of things can also be in your system that don't serve and support you, that it's time to clear, release, and let go of so you can move forward on your journey with ease, be grace, joy, and love. Okay, and then Whitley said, subconscious barriers that I think are holding me back from many things, like attracting dream clients and massive income. Cool, we'll do some downloads on dream clients. Massive income, and that's kind of already on the list. So I'll do a little bit of kind of like the seven gaps, if anyone's unfamiliar of me being talking about this. So the seven gaps that I'm seeing that lightworkers are coming up against because they're coaches and healers and they do the work and they show up and do these things, but they're still not getting the end result that they want. There's something that's missing between where they're at and where they want to be. And these are the things that I'm seeing over and over and over again that come up in people's fields that need to get cleared, released, and let go of. And then once they do, when they show up differently, they're able to get to their end result that they've been desiring and have even better experiences than they had before because they get to be in tune with their actual heart's desire of what they're here for and what they're calling in instead of like the small, shrunk down, maybe mediocre version or like dimmer version of what they think that they're here for that they don't quite want to see awful brilliance and shine of it <laughs> um so we're going to move you towards some of that even bigger brilliance and shine that is in your soul so those seven gaps are subconscious limiting beliefs so we're going to do a ton of clearing on those throughout I see a lot of people who don't feel safe to be seen who have a ton of throat chakra blocks who feel like they have a bunch of blocks holding them back from speaking up because what if their family says something? What if their friends say something? What if they annoy someone? Not wanting to like take a side on anything. So being very like neutral in the middle, not really having a strong viewpoint on, any, on anything. And that doesn't serve or support people because then you're not really calling in anyone. You're not really like taking a stand and being like, this is what we're doing. So in politics, for example, no one wins by being the neutral person. They take a stand and they have people who love them and people who fucking hate them. So I also have on the list um, fear of haters and getting haters and deal with dealing with judgment and criticism, that kind of stuff. So that's very big in the visibility portion that can hold people back from being as bright and as shiny as they can be in this world. So we'll support you in doing that. Definitely a lot of mindset blocks hold people back around their money. So there can be so much societal junk, especially in the spiritual world around money, because in the past, in past lives, or just in the past of like human history, if you were like a religious figure and you were like the head of the church, you were going to be taken care of, like your house, your needs, all those were going to be met, and you didn't have to like go out and like peddle your wares. So there can be a lot of junk in terms of like self-sabotaging or being a martyr of not wanting to receive money, feeling like you have to like save the world, a bunch of heaviness on that. And then you're trying to make your ends meet over here while also serving and supporting the world versus being like super fucking supported by like higher end income streams. So that could be like high end private clients, higher end group programs. If you want to like leverage yourself out a little bit more and having yourself served and supported by people who are ready, willing, able, and very excited to work with you at those high end levels of packages and support allows you to serve from an overflow all the other things that you feel called to doing. So if I was just making ends meet right now, I'd probably be stressed out in a nine to five still, and I wouldn't have a lot of like excess time or energy to like put on a bunch of free classes or like do my love and light show that I did for years. Like there's so many more things that I'm able to serve and contribute to the world at very low end investments or free because I have that spaciousness because I have myself being served and supported over here. <clears throat> okay, all kinds of comments. Laura, there was a huge lightning bolt when you said that. Yay! Kelly says, me too. Awesome. It was like strong confirmation from spirit. Beautiful. Mm. And then Whitley says, yes, that's exactly it. I feel like I'm doing all the stuff to move me forward and I'm still not getting those results. Yes. Awesome. And that's why, Whitley, you're in the course. We can deep dive and get you there and like get you there fast because people build momentum fucking hugely 
um, in my containers, which I also love that I get to like light light workers up so that they get to serve and support more and more and more people, which is why I'm only working with light workers right now because I'm like, cool, if I support one light worker, that's not just going to help them or their friends and family. That's also helping all of their current clients, all of their current clients, friends and family, their future clients, friends and family, and like the positive ways of like massive change that, that brings and that I get to like connect into when I serve light workers is fucking incredible. And I'm just like so grateful that I get to do this kind of work with all of you lovely souls. I'm so excited to be in your program. Mm, me too. I'm so excited. Okay. We'll get to more details about that later towards the end. I'll do an invitation for anyone who is feeling called to go deeper. All right, so money mindset. There can be a bunch of stuff holding back um, light workers from stepping into their abundance to feel that bad people are wealthy and not wanting to be like the bad, corrupt, negative experiences that they've seen in the world thus far in the world. Um, there can also be a lot of like resistance and fear in actually receiving in raising your rates and getting to receive it fully. Um, there can be times where they kind of like yo-yo and they get like a high month and then they get some lower months. So if you average out kind of like those three months together, it's still like you're making kind of 2K a month, even if you like had a 6K a month. So it's allowing yourself to keep expanding your ability to receive and hold it and move money into those kind of places. Um, the fourth gap that I'm seeing is that people are feeling like they need to be in this like cookie cutter mold of what they saw a coach or a guru do instead of moving in their unique inspired action steps and being really aligned with their truth, with their highest self and moving from their heart's desires, their inspired action spaces from there. Um, so a lot of work can get done around there about releasing like comparison and shoulds and expectations or things in the past where you thought it should have been like this or you think it's taking too much time and all those kind of like limiting beliefs around that. Um, we can do all kinds of downloads on those. The fifth one is harmonizing your masculine and feminine energy because there's so much prominence on masculine energy in the world and I was totally like that where I was like high achieving corporate accountant and like go 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 do 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 be 110 percent produce 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 output 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 and like that burnt me out and that burns a lot of women out in particular it burns men out too and it's just being out of alignment with the harmony that is right for you so sometimes people say balance I don't like the energetics of the word balance for many people because when people say balance in their head they think it has to be 50 50 like a work-life balance, or they think that it has to be the same forever. So they're like, if I'm a quarter of this and a quarter of this and a quarter of this and a quarter of this, it's always like that versus giving yourself the freedom that in every single moment, you can be at a new harmonization for your different energies, the unique energy that you have in the world to show up and support your people and your life in the way that's ideal for your body, for your system. So you're not having like adrenal fatigue or health issues or dis-ease in your body. Mm, new intention, clarity, and what to serve. Awesome. Okay, adding clarity on here. What to serve. I love that there's just so many things already. <laughs> it's highly likely I'll go over. I love like matching people's energies. That's essentially what I tell all my people when I'm like enrolling them. I'm like, I will fucking match your energy. Like if you are a 10 out of 10, let's go. We will fucking run. <laughs> So I like that so many of you are like, oh my gosh, there's so much stuff that I'm here to clear. Okay. And then the sixth gap that I see a lot of people having is that they don't have their next level boundaries in their head. They don't have their standard embodied in them. So they're not going to get to their next level because they're not going to have the boundaries for it. So our system does a very beautiful thing where we're not going to get overwhelmed to the point of like not being able to do this work. For the majority of us, for the majority of people that I know, if you got like Tony Robbins level, like stature tomorrow and had like a hundred million people reach out to do work with you in group or private radio, like that wouldn't serve for support you. That would be super overwhelming and you'd feel really negative about it. So the good thing is, is that the universe keeps building ourselves up one step at a time, one step at a time, one step at a time. So we have a bigger and bigger and bigger comfort zone, bigger and bigger and bigger ability to receive, ability to support, ability to hold containers with more and more people. We get to keep growing and expanding at rates that are good for our body and good for our systems that we don't get overwhelmed to the point of exhaustion and not being able to do the work that we're here to do in a healthy way. So the positive thing is that we get to grow into that version of ourselves. Even if you're like, I'm totally getting to Tony Robbins stature in like the next year, couple of years, like fuck yes. And you get to grow your human because <laughs> sometimes like soul level is like totally here to do all these things. And it's like nervous to like hurt the human or like break the human. 
So we continue to clear release and let go of the things that aren't supporting us, that you can have new standards in your life and new boundaries that support you. So that you're like, okay, cool. I have like the systems and structures that can move people forward. I have the boundaries that I'm not like allowing energy vampires all day long to just talk with me and not be a client and not move forward to like a sales call, for example. So you get to have next level boundaries. And the other main like almost head block that people will get in around boundaries was like, I've done boundary work before. <laughs> I've done a lot of work on that. I should be good with my boundaries. I'm going to be good with boundaries for the most of my life. It's like, no, like if you keep growing and expanding and you keep wanting to step into a next level version of yourself, you're going to continuously expand new standards in your life and new boundaries for it. Cause that's just like how it works. You have to shed release and let go of your old skin, your old version of yourself to let the new one in. Just like if I wanted to put a smoothie in here, I'd have to empty out the water. You need to create the space and you need to have those new like standards and boundaries in place so that you can expand in a healthy way that serves and supports you. Okay. And then the last one is the conscious 3D work. And I put this kind of last because mostly people are more in their mass than doing, doing, doing things. And they're trying really fucking hard and they're saying try and shoulds and they're doing more of that. Um, so it's allowing yourself to like step back and make sure that you're doing aligned conscious 3D work where you're clear on your outcomes, where you're not being like a couch potato manifest. You're being like, I did my vision board and now my clients should just come to me. It's like, yeah, you're gonna have to move in this wired action and create a program, create a package, create an offering. Like you're gonna have to still do those things and be smart about it to be like, okay, if you're doing this full time and your intention is to continue doing this full time and to continue growing your business, it's like, where does your cash flow need come from? Where are you currently at with things? You have to know your numbers. Also your numbers like to be seen. So if you're having some money blocks, sometimes it can, even be resolved by like looking at your numbers frequently. So you can have like a money date on Friday and be like, yay, <laughs> I'm having a fun money date. And for me, I like to like put on essential oils and do some dancing beforehand and like have it a fun thing that I look forward to, especially since I am an ex accountant. So I used to have like a ton of resistance to looking at my numbers. Cause I was just like, no, that's the old world, old me. I don't want to deal with any of that stuff. Um, so it's doing the work on like what your ideal client is, feeling into that, writing that out, your ideal days, um, like vision statements, one year plan for your cash flow and your money and knowing what that is. So I talk a lot more about like the conscious pieces of that and other kind of um, masterclasses that I've done. And I've done three of them so far. So you can go on like my YouTube if you want to see a lot more about like the more conscious structured pieces that I've done in the past. But I kind of wanted to give you guys an outline of areas that we're kind of mainly focusing on for the hot seats today because we did get a number of people in hot seats and we have a lot of people on live now too. Um, so those are the, mo the main focus areas of tonight, but we can also expand out into other things that are coming up in your system too. Okay, and then Hannah said, I just breathe that one in mm, around boundaries. Yes, so true. So you're gonna be on level like three million of boundaries and still be like, I'm gonna step forward and be on like level three million and one. <laughs> Okay, so actually, Hannah, let's start a hot seat with you, and then I'll kind of like tune into most of the stuff that will get healed from the things that I've been writing down from people. But let's start with you. I feel like that's going to like clear a number of these kind of things too. Yay! Awesome! Yay! Yay! Hi. Hello. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Um, I'm doing pretty good in this moment. Mm -hmm. I okay. stepped outside. I was like, I've got to be in nature for a little bit. Mm, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. So what was your intention? What would you like us to focus on and clear? Mm, my mind was just like so much. Mm. <laughs> um, so I think my first one was about my value and money blocks. Mm -hmm. I guess just reaffirming and really declaring my worth, the value that I provide, the results that I can get people. Um, and knowing that my value is high for the amount of, from like the rates that I am going for, which I know even aren't that high because then the comparison comes up. It's like, 
Mm -hmm. just compare myself to other women in the industry that are charging way more than I am. Mm. And I know that I get to feel more comfortable with numbers. Mm -hmm. So I'll say we could start there. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Should I keep going? This is awesome. So what would your ideal rate package be? Not what it is right now. Yeah. Hmm. Um, hmm, it's a good question. I guess I'm not, I'm not fully sure, but for a six month container, like six, 6,000 just came up. Mm. Awesome. That felt like something I can, I can get behind. Yes. It's, it's, I mean, it's a huge jump. Mm-hmm. And just like, like, you know, I already see you as that. So it's not like a huge mm. jump okay. consciously for like your soul level or like how you show up and serve women. Just FYI. Okay conscious little piece of thing. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. So the way I'm going to do downloads, everyone, is I'm going to tune in specifically to the person in the hot seat, but everyone can say yes to the downloads and I'll keep using higher power, but in your head, you can substitute in God, creator, source, energy, universe, mother earth, whatever you ideally want as your higher power's name, you can substitute that in. That's usually like a non-triggered, non-heavy verb for people to use. Um, so yeah, I'll tune into everyone's energy one at a time for the hot seat, but everything can be in your world in some way, shape, or form. So you can say yes, even if you're not quite sure, just say yes. And if the download has nothing to do with you, then that's fine. It's not going to do anything bad. And anyone catching the replay, your present moment is now. So if you're watching it live or on the replay, you're getting the energy right now in this moment. So would you like to clear release and let go of so much of all the heaviness, weight, pressure, overwhelm? negative energy and responsibility, especially in seeing a lot of the gaps that are currently showing up in your life and in your world right now and in your business. And if you would like to clear that, you can say yes. Yes. Well, should I keep myself muted or unmuted? You can say yes. It's all good. Okay. <laughs> good job for staying visible. And your yes will be audible. <laughs> Do you want to clear release and let go of the thought systems, worries, and fears that you're not providing enough value, that you're not enough, that you're not good enough, and that you can clear release and let go of the aspects of yourself that are ready to be released and healed around feeling like you're an imposter. People will find out that they actually paid too much, they overpaid for your services, and that you shouldn't have charged too much, that it was actually really greedy and bitchy and selfish to charge the level that you are. Do you want to clear those? Mm, yes. Do you want to clear, release, and let go of the money blocks that have been holding you back, feeling like it's unsafe to receive more, that it would be bad to take that amount of money from someone, and that you can clear, release, and let go of the belief system that you'd be taking someone's money, that you can instead mm. see from your higher powers perspective that you are in an open energy exchange with the world and that your ideal soulmate clients are entering your world, your containers, your programs, your offers in an excited lit up way where they are grateful to be able to be in a container with a teacher that can serve and support them and that they can experience the transformation happening in the transaction. Do you like that? Yes. I'm totally going to go on a side about transformation is in the transaction later as a conscious piece, but you want to clear release and let go of the fear that people are going to pay you and then take it back, that they're going to not actually show up on a follow-up call, that they're going to get scared and have judgments of themselves or you and not actually choose to move forward on their journey with you, that they'll self-sabotage or hold themselves back and that you can clearly some let go any and all experiences within yourself where you can see how you did that where you acted like that as a client or potential client in the past and that you can be completely released from the old ways of being thinking or acting and that showing up and mirroring to you now in your current clients or current perspectives would you like that yes I'm just going inside because I think it might rain in a moment. Awesome. (laughs) I like that the rain is just going to clear energy for you too. I know, right? (laughs) 
I'm like, I could stay out of here, but I have my computer. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Do you want to clear release and let go of the guilt and shame and grief and loss and victimhood that you felt around money, around not being in control, around not understanding how to like make the relationship better and that you can clear release and let go of that like forcing energy where you're trying to like make it work, make it like fucking happen. Do you want to feel that? And do you want to clear release and let go of the times in your life where money hasn't shown up for you, where money was negative, where you perceived money to me mean or critical or not there for you when you needed it, that it would like come and go, that it had a really unhealthy dynamic with you, that you can clear release and let go of those from your experience and allow you to forgive yourself completely in all levels for any and all roles, responsibilities, and impact that you had in that system, in that relationship. And that you can move yourself forward on your journey, allowing you to have a clean slate and a healthy relationship with your money. Do you like that? Yes. That's a bigger one for a lot of people. So if you guys want to take a drink of water to help you. Mm -hmm. Super good to be hydrated. And do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to thrive with money? have a best friend cheerleader supportive relationship with money in your world now and that you can own and claim money as your new best friend that you can love money and love the experiences that you get to have in your life with money without feeling like you're greedy or selfish or self-centered or that you should be spending your money in a different way do you like that yes And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to truly see from your higher, pers power, higher powers perspective what it looks like and feels like to call in wealth and abundance consistently in your life without needing to get rid of it as quickly. Clearing, releasing, and letting go of the belief system that money burns a hole in your wallet and that mm -hmm. you can allow yourself to support the collective without needing to be in victimhood with money like the collective is in debt or credit card debt like the collective is and that you can clear release and let go of any and all other negative subconscious belief systems where you have to be in the hardships in order to serve the people that you're with but you can step forward without being disconnected from your ideal clients would you like that yeah and you want to know through your higher powers perspective how you are worthy and deserving of money of your soulmate ideal clients and that you can call in consistent 6k clients for six months and for anyone else your ideal k months that you can call that into you now that you can own it that you can receive it fully and that you can move in your own unique inspired action steps to bring this into your life and reality with ease now and if you'd like that you can say yes yes do you want to see at a core deep soul level the value and the pricelessness of the work that you do in the world that you can own that and see it that you can experience it that you can be connected to the ways of change that you create and that you can allow yourself to charge even higher rates than you're currently at or that you thought you were comfortable at so that you can be more energetically in tune with the energy exchange that you're providing. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you want to clear release and let go of the aspects of you that see clients as worse off and it be a bad thing to quote, take money from them? But you can clear release and let go of the fears and worries of potential clients not being able to afford the work that you're doing at the rates that you're at or the rates that you want to be at and that you can allow yourself to call in the next level versions of your clients who are more than ready willing able and excited to invest consistently with you at your new rates and if you'd like that you can say yes yes And do you want to clear, release, and let go of any and all other imposter syndrome thoughts, doubts, worries, and fears that you have on yourself? 
that you can clear release and let go of the energy of going for something and just clearly own it and claim it within your system without needing it to be separate from you that you can see how you already are this next level version of yourself that you're stepping into her now and that you give yourself permission to step into her or him in this exact moment and if you would like that you can say yes yes or they for anyone who wants to be they or they <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. and you want to clear release and let go of the comparison that you've had of others where you felt better than or worse than where you judged yourself as not being good enough where you were critical or really hard and abusive to yourself that you can clearly some let go of negative energy of beating yourself up of feeling like you're a failure that you're making mistakes that it's not working for you or that there's something wrong with you and if you'd like to clear mm -hmm. all of those old limiting belief systems you can say yes yes <sighs> And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to be inspired by others who have success or things in their life in reality that you desire that you can see from your higher powers perspective that you're called to that and magnetized to that because it is in you it's a part of you and that it is for you as well and that you get to call in and claim it and move even more quickly forward towards it would you like that yes and do you want to understand from your higher powers perspective the importance of the divine order of your life and the divine timing of your life so that you can honor love and accept the uniqueness of your life your journey and your path without needing to try to cut corners or like get into someone else's lane to try to get a short-term success or a short-term win do you like that yes And one thing that it's like kind of showing me and it's really interesting to see is that sometimes in like big wind storms like certain trees are uprooted and their roots don't look like they go that deep or there's something going on there so essentially the energy that i'm getting for a number of people is like be okay with how much your roots need to grow right now because there's also i'm thinking it's bamboo or something where it's like roots grow super deep and then it like shoots up super fast so be okay with what kind of like tree or flower you are that you're growing the roots that you need to, you're growing the foundation that you need to right now, and to love and accept that regardless of what other people's roots or trees or stems or trunks look like right now, that you get to own that uniquely for yourself. So how's all that feeling, Hannah? Really good. Awesome. Really good, yeah. Just exactly, <clears throat> ex it's the same, same thing I said last time, like you're in my thoughts. <laughs> yeah and then i would say the the last thing that um is kind of present for me right now is having the distinctions between what intimacy sensuality and sex mm. are and how i know if a boundary has been crossed for me mm. and i had a guy friend like asked me these questions the other day and I was I mean I was exhausted but I just found myself very frustrated mm -hmm. not knowing how to fully answer it and I don't know if so it was just hard for me because he's like this is this is the work that you're in and it mm -hmm. just really kind of killed my self-esteem and I do have a history with this person so there was that so yeah I just mm -hmm. that's something I've been working through and it brought up some anger for me as well mm -hmm. okay so for everyone who's on do you want to think of something where you're not really sure where your like actual lines in the sand are where like the different boundaries or standards you have in your life so we'll do that for hannah but we'll do whatever is going on in your world as the clearing for that so do you want to know if your higher, higher powers perspective where those unique lines standards and boundaries currently are and where you would like them to be so you can elevate this next level version of yourself that you are choosing to be in this moment and that you're calling in completely, that you get to have these new standards and boundaries in your world and that you get the deep clarity, truth and understanding and knowing of where those are for yourself. So you can stand in your confidence and truth around it and clearly, clearly communicate to others where you stand, what is acceptable and not acceptable, and that you can also be an energetic no to things that just like aren't gonna pop up in your world, that you're no longer energetically available to certain things happening. And if you'd like all that, you can say yes. Yeah. 
so like I know in the sexuality space we can get like random foreign internet people or like random creepy internet guys and like you can just claim for yourself like I'm no longer available to this kind of stuff and that does really really help so for everyone what's something that you are no longer fucking open to in your life in your business in a friendship in a partnership right now what are you fucking like a no for from now on do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to claim that for yourself? To own it, not feel bad about it, to not need to explain or justify it, to not need to walk on eggshells around it any longer, that you can own it completely in all levels, and that you can allow yourself fully and completely to be in alignment with this new boundary and know how to compassionately and caringly and lovingly Communicate this to someone who is close in your world, so someone who is a friend, a lover, intimate partner, a friend, that you can allow that to be done with ease, be grace, joy, and love, and that you can allow yourself to just energetically have these boundaries for everyone else. That you don't have to explain yourself or say why you say no, that no can be a complete and full sentence. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Yes. And you want to clear release and let go? of the anger, frustration, and rage around that, around people who cross your boundaries, who have known what the boundaries are in the past and still pushed up against it, that you can be stronger in your field now, and that you can allow yourself to move forward with ease in calling in people who do serve and support your boundaries, your standards, who honor you and celebrate you for them, and who don't try to push past them, and who would never think in a million years to try to. Do you like that? Yes. And then especially for Hannah, that you can call in a life partner who celebrates you fully for all the boundaries that you have and taking care of your space and your energy, but everyone can have it too. <laughs> Do you like that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to know that you can step into the full power and authority of who you are without being worried that that's going to reduce the amount of like eligible bachelors who are in this world that you can clear release and let go of it being a numbers game and instead allow you to fully call in your soulmate life partner or lovers or fun people in between that you get to choice in that without thinking or fearing that they'll be intimidated by you that it will shrink your dating pool and that you can allow yourself to own your queendom and your goddessness without needing to like shrink in their presence or feeling like it might affect their male ego. Would you like that? Yes. I'm like, okay, side conscious note, that's been a fucking huge thing for me because I used to be so scared if I'm like, okay, so I'm going to be a sex coach and there's not a lot of like sex coaches. So I should probably get like a sex coach as a partner. And then like, but I also want a dominant and I also want a dominant who's not like super serious. And I want someone who's also going to like be multiple six figures serving the world and all these things. And as I've like added different things on my journey, I've had the most high caliber, king energy, fucking awesome men come into my world as like friends and partners lovers. <laughs> so it allows you to expand infinitely the fucking awesome vibration people that are in your world and be a fuck no to all the other people. So in my head where I'm like, in middle school, I literally, like, gave up all my values and hobbies and tried to, like, learn WWE stuff because I thought that would, like, I don't know, get me a boyfriend who would, like, think that I'm the ideal girlfriend. And now that I'm so far away from that and way more in, like, this is who I fucking am and they're going to be blessed as fuck and totally know and be grateful as fuck and, like, basically worship <laughs> in the bedroom, not, like, day-to-day -day life. Equal is equal, but also, like, being worshipped in the bedroom is fun. And also expands your ability to receive. So you can also play with that. That's a very strong thing for Hannah. Hannah and I are also sex coaches. So there's that. <laughs> um, that you get to own all of that and be even more abundant in those spaces instead of being afraid that like it's going to constrict you or limit you. How's that going? Amen. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. So checking back in. So Whitley talked about how to form boundaries for people who do not respect you. Mm. How to not, but also to not hold hostility towards them. Okay, we can do some work on that for sure. Yes, life partners and all the lovers. Awesome. Yes, life partner. Yes, yes, yes. Yay. <laughs> so much sensuality and pleasure. Yes, Kelly. Awesome. Okay. Yay. How's that feeling for you, Hannah? Really good and exciting. Awesome. Yay. You feeling complete? Yes, thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. 
Okay. And we have like 40 minutes. So if we run out of people, we might go back and keep going. So anyone who wants to stay on for the whole time, you can totally do that. Um, so for Whitney, do you want to know from your higher powers perspective that it's safe to continue to learn, grow, and expand your knowledge and awareness of your boundaries, that you can allow yourself to tune in completely in all levels to what boundaries will serve and support you and your family right now, and that you can clear release and let go of the fear and resentment and worst case scenarios that you've been worried might come up from it, that you can instead move forward on your journey without fearing that it's going to create hostility or negative emotions and that you can allow people to be released from your body and your system and your world that aren't for your highest and best good to stay there and that you can bless and release them with ease. Do you like that? Yes. Oh yeah, you unmuted. <laughs> <laughs> like that's that easy. And do you want to know who you are and what your life looks like with these boundaries? That you can be excited to create these boundaries, that you can clear release and let go of the overwhelm and the, like feeling like it's going to be such a big thing or that it could create a catastrophe in the, your world, that you can clear release and let go of those fears and that you can allow yourself to lovingly create boundaries that will be so supportive for everyone. Do you like that? Yes. Okay, so like a conscious piece, and this doesn't have to be about you, it can be someone else's energy, but sometimes people are afraid to let people go, let go of a relationship, let go of like someone that has been so important in their lives because of the past, because of the history, or because you feel like you've put in so much time and like that's what a sunk cost is. Like you have to be like, what's going on in the current moment? And this is gonna serve and support people. And for me, like that was really hard when I was in my first like conscious healing relationship where I'm like, yay, we're a badass spiritual couple. And my soul is literally being like, you're here for bigger things. You need to end this in order for you to move forward. You'd be settling and this isn't going to serve you. And I literally like had conversations where I'm like, I'm feeling like the next person's going to be awesome for you. And he's like, no, we need to get married. And it was hard and it was heartbreaking and it's not fun. So I'm not going to like sugarcoat it and be like, it's always super great to like release people out of your life. Not always. Um, and like literally within months, he was with someone else who he's been with for years. And I was like, see, I'm like, I had the energy around that. And like, I was holding you back from like being with her. And like, we were holding each other back from like being out of alignment with our truths and like not being on our soul's missions in the fullest way that we could have. So like that just is like a bigger confirmation for me when like those things happen where I'm like, there are so many times that I can look back on my life where even in a moment where it was hard and painful and super not fun, the life that both people, that both parties get to create in the long run are fucking fantastic from them. So to really look at it from that perspective that you don't want to hold yourself or other people back and that it's not healthy if one of you guys starts getting the memo from your intuition or your higher power that it's time to move on or that it's time to create new boundaries, um, that it's a supportive, loving thing to speak that truth into your container, into your relationship, into your world. How's that feeling? Feels good. Yeah, no, it's good. Awesome. So while we have you unmuted, what would you like to clear? Oh, that's a good question. So mm -hmm. I feel like I really want to clear away and I'm not even sure exactly what it is, Laura, but there, I keep feeling guided to do a project. I keep feeling guided to do one specific thing in mm -hmm. terms of showing up in like my mission work. Mm -hmm. And every time that I do it and I'll come at it full <laughs> head on with like masculine energy. Mm -hmm. And the last time that I just did this again, I came at it with some like more feminine energy this time around. And it just fell through again, once again, like, I'm like, it just keeps falling through every single time. And I'm like, I've been working at this for so long. And it just feels like I'm like hitting my head against a brick wall. And I'm like, is this ever going to work out? Like, that's kind of like, some of the, like how I feel right now is, is this ever going to work out? Am I ever going to get to where I ultimately want to be? And like, I'm showing up and doing all the work and, and things like that. So I'm like, there's going to be some subconscious blocks that mm -hmm. I'm unaware of that could be holding me back. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. I just like 
really want to be able to clear and release whatever it is that Mm -hmm. is holding me back. Yes. Okay. So there's a little bit of energy of you came at it very masculine and then you came at it very feminine. And just because I know a little bit more about you, I know that there's like way more deep dive feminine work that you can do. So I'm just going to like kind of bring that conscious caveat with like you haven't done it's not feeling like enough because I don't want to say that, but it's like you haven't reached the depth of like ability that you could receive if you had gone that deep in your feminine energy. Does that part make sense? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So being sense. like a little bit more work on deep dive feminine energy, that'll support you. And we're going to do that over the next six weeks. So yeah. Um, and then really like bringing that harmony in where you're like, I can like receive fully for a day and like just take the whole fucking weekend off and then like come to work on Monday being super excited and lit up about the project that you're working on. And that it has that harmony. It has that flow with you. So do you want to know what that looks like and feels like to bring into your world that you can allow yourself to do the deeper feminine healing work in yourself and your life and in your business to allow you to receive even more, to be open to receiving even more and that you can cultivate your unique balance and harmony of your masculine and feminine, of masculine and feminine energy and your perceived work-life balance. Would you like that? Yes. And then the other thing is like, as much as your conscious brain doesn't totally enjoy it, there's a part of your subconscious that likes being where you're at right now, where you're kind of like transitioning and like starting to do things and Again, I know a little bit more about your background, but um, it'd be really supportive, like as a conscious thing to do, is write out mm-hmm. the benefits you're currently getting by being in this quote, like transition space. So, like the right time out. that you're getting to, pardon? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. So, like the time that you get to like spend with your kiddos right now, because you have a more like open and flexible schedule, like the positive aspects of like you get to enjoy summer right now like right now it's summer and like you can go outside and like you don't have um like your day is filled and blocked off with clients right now for example Mm -hmm. so like notice the benefits that you're getting from this quote transition time in your life right now Mm -hmm. and have an exact end date and not all people you should have like august 1st at like 8 p.m sometimes it's more like by fall or like by christmas I will be okay. here. This is what my life looks like and feels like. So if you have like an exact time of date that comes through, totally do that. Some people's human design actually doesn't work super well with having the exact specific time of date. You want to be more like by August, some point in August, I will hit 5k and I will have consistent 5k months, something like that. Okay. Um, so anyone who feels called to do that for homework, write out all the benefits that you're getting, even if they're like big or small of the transition that you're in right now. So that you can enjoy the transition. I've had many transitions in my life where I transitioned from corporate nine to five world into my work. When I transitioned from like being here to traveling more, like I've had a lot of transitions and unfortunately people can get stuck into stagnation energy if they don't have clear benefits of why they're here and how it's working for them and a completion date where they're officially moving forward. Right. Is, okay, I have one quick question more. Yeah. Is it possible to like feel like mixed energy from like feeling like, okay, right now is the time to like just like kind of surrender and be still, mm. right? Against mm-hmm. transition. But then it's like that, then there's like that energy that you feel it's like, okay, now it's go time. Now it's time mm-hmm. to like walk through the door and take the opportunity. And it almost feels like, I keep being bounced back and forth. Mm. So do you want to clearly release and let go of the belief system that you're a victim to something external from you and allow you to claim your power and to fully see that you are source energy, that you are oneness energy, that you are not separate and that everything gets to happen for your highest, best good and your optimal health and that you know what your life looks like and feels like when you own that you are the powerful co-creator of your world and that you get to step into that without feeling or fearing that something external from you is going to bounce you around, is going to push you around, is in charge, that you can actually regain full and complete control of your life and your mission here. Do you like that? Yes. Yes. And you want to give yourself permission 
to deepen into surrender, to allow yourself to really deeply move in your feminine energy, to be able to be still, to connect with your human body, to connect even more deeply than you ever have before with your intuition, your heart's desires, and your higher power, your higher self, and that you know what that looks like and feels like, and that you can have unique guidance within yourself, within your soul, of how to show up and how to move forward and know when it's time to go, when it is go time, when it is in your highest and best good to move forward and shine your light and be in your inspired action steps and that you can move and flow between these without it needing to be like a harsh, bumpy ride or a roller coaster. You can clear release and let go of like needing to hit a new low to get a new high and any now similar energies where you've like heard stories in the coaching world where like they were on their sister's couch or like the hit 25k of debt and then had a million dollar year blah blah but you can clear release and let go of those old paradigms and allow you to move forward from your current set point without needing to go any worse or any lower or hit a new low in order to move forward if you like that you can say yes 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 So how's that part feeling now? Much lighter, a lot lighter. <laughs> awesome, wonderful. Okay, you feeling complete? Yes, thank you. You're welcome. So then we can move to Kelly, because you were also on my list, and you had clear benefits around the nine to five or benefits to end it. So the benefits, if you're in a nine to five right now, what are the benefits that it gets to consistently like pay for your rent, for example, that you don't have to be worried about money or stressed out. Um, does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I wanted to know for sure. Yeah. Awesome. And then what would you like to clear my dear? Gosh, well, to clear being stressed out about money and not being able to pay my rent, despite the fact that I have a nine to five mm. and I literally have had a pain in my shoulder since mm. last September and I've tried every which way to clear it. And, you know, I'm really right now having this thing come up for me about um, like a block for me to obtain clients and mm. I'm, I'm at a bit of a standstill and I'm not using my voice. Um, mm -hmm. so shocker. <laughs> mm -hmm. And I think there's something about me that's like not confident in, you know, what I'm, you know, selling and therefore, you know, I want to shift into that being of service and just like allowing client, like my ideal clients, uh, allowing the money to flow, you know, kind of that whole, like getting that system moving of being able to use my voice to help be of service, mm -hmm. receive, give and receive. Mm -hmm. Is the pain in your shoulder on your right side? Yep. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, let's go into that first because that's like the one that I'm feeling the most. So everyone, I'm going to focus on Kelly's shoulder. That's the energy she's going to focus on to clear, but you guys can focus on your throat if your intention is also to clear your throat chakra stuff. Um, if you have another pain in your body that's coming up for you, focus on that first. So Kelly, I'll get you to shut your eyes and anyone else who wants to do this to take some deep, Cleansing breaths. And you can do a scan from the top of your head, moving down your body, just becoming aware of any and all energies that aren't serving and supporting, supporting you any longer. So that most prominent energy, you can tune into it right now. And Kelly, I'll get you to focus on your shoulder. Just notice how much space is that old energy that no longer serves you taking up in your body right now. Just bringing all your focus and awareness and attention to that energy. Just notice what color it is. If you could touch it, what kind of texture does it have?
And what kind of temperature does it have? And we're gonna safely move that old energy outside of your body through your higher power. And replace that space where it used to live with unconditional love and healing energy and ripple out that healing energy to every area and aspect that it used to touch or impact. Do you like that? Yes. Now that that energy is safely outside of your body without any attachments to you, we're gonna ask it a question and just allow the first thought, first feeling to come up. And Kelly, you can share this out loud. Everyone else can keep it in your head. What were you trying to teach me? Surrender. Beautiful. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to surrender? To yeah. surrender with ease, to be supported in your life, to trust yourself in a surrendered space. Do you like that? Yes. And then for everyone, including Kelly, do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to learn this lesson completely now, to have it marked as complete? from your higher powers perspective. That you can see any and all other clarity you need to around it. And that you can choose to move forward in your life and on your journey with ease, speak, grace, joy, and love, learning any and all similar lessons to this that are in this frequency that have this type of energy that you can clearly let go of any and all other aspects or old energy parts of yourselves that are no longer needed to serve you this lesson in this way that you don't have to try to do this or figure it out any longer, that this can be done in your life, that you can have the identity of being able to surrender, of being able to learn this lesson fully and completely, and that you can clearly and let go of any and all sadness, overwhelm, grief, and negative emotions that were tied to it, that that can be released now, and that any and all old suppressed energy can be released now with love, that you don't need to analyze it, nitpick it, tear it apart, figure it out, overanalyze it, that those don't need to happen, that it can be released fully and completely from your system now with ease, be grace, joy, and love. That you can allow yourself to live your life without pain, without dis-ease, and without needing a physical pain in your body to show you where you need to move or where you need to pay attention to. That you can instead even more deeply connect with your intuition, with your higher self. That you can allow yourself to move forward on your journey with love, not needing to do things the old way, but that the most the majority of the collective tends to do things that you can choose a new way for yourself and to show up as a way shower in that for others. Do you like that? Hell yes. Awesome. Do you want to clearly some let go of the weight of the world, feeling like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and that you have to be the one who figures it out, that you're the only one to do this and clearly some let go of the thought systems and beliefs that you're the only one, that you have to take all this on yourself, that it's your fault if it's not done, and that there's no one else who can support you, that you're the only one that you can rely on, and that you can clearly release and let go of the pain, negative energy, abuse, or suffering that you've experienced in the past that tried to teach you that. Do you want to clear those? Yes. <sighs> Do you want to clear release and let go of the belief system that people stab you in the back, that people will take advantage of you, misuse you, and mistreat you, and that you can clear release and let go of any and all energetics that you've had where they needed to be actors on your stage to learn lessons around forgiveness or compassion or resiliency, that you can mark these lessons as complete now, and that you can completely forgive on all levels, any and all actors on your stage that contributed to this pain this old energy in your body, that they can be forgiven completely on all levels, so that you're no longer swallowing pain or poison or bitterness, hoping that it might affect them, that they can be completely forgiven for your highest and best good, and that you can forgive yourself 
burning all roles and responsibilities that you played in that. Do you like that? Yes. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to move forward on your journey with ease, that you can allow yourself to heal with ease, that you can clearly so let go of any identification you had to that old energy in your body or that pain in your shoulder, that that no longer belongs to you or with you, and that you can clearly so let go of any and all identifications with it or that needing to be a part of you. Would you like that? Yes. And you want to cut any cords, contracts, vows, commitments, oaths, bonds, and responsibilities that you have to anyone in the past that aggravated that pain or that dis-ease in your body, that you can release those now with ease, and that you can clear release and let go of the necessity of having a cord or something energetically attached to someone in order for them to be in your life, that you can release them with ease now, and that you can allow yourself to continue to clear your energy field, ground your energy, and shield your energy for your highest and best good on, a, on your day-to-day -day life. Would you like that? Yes. Do you want to clearly let go of the story that no matter what you do, it's not going to work? No matter how many healers or people or coaches or things that you go to, nothing's going to work. That you've gone through the gamut of every single thing on this 3D human planet. And that you can clearly so let go of that story that things are different for you and that it's harder for you and it won't work out for you. Would you like to clear those? Fuck yes. <laughs> yes. And you want to see a new way forward to your higher power that you can identify as someone who allows life to be easy. That you can let life be easy starting today and that you no longer have to put off your pleasure, your abundance, your heart's desires and that you can receive them and to continue to move in your own unique inspired action baby steps to fully cultivate the life and business that you desire and that the world needs right now. Do you like that? Yes. Yes. So then we can get your higher power to transmute all of those old energies into unconditional love and send them into the ether. Would you like that? Yes. You guys can take some deep cleansing breaths again. And how's that feeling in your body right now, Kelly? How's your shoulder feel? Feels good. Yes. Yeah. I felt so much like tingling and moving and then tears. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like a lot of tears so yeah lots of clearing thank you you're welcome my pleasure and then everyone else how's that feeling in your body let's tune into the chat you feel called to sharing you don't have to you can share body sensation tingly or better or lighter grounded Awesome, especially the last few pieces. Beautiful, awesome. And thank you, Kelly, for being the host of that. <laughs> okay, so then do you wanna clear release and let go of the stress, overwhelm, frustration, negative energy, and headaches around money? Um, and any all migraine energy that people have had around money or stress or doing too many things, you can clear release and let go of that now. And any and all other pains or diseases in your body that you can clear release and let go of your attachment or old energy to that. And that you can allow yourself to be free from that weight or the weight of the world that you've put on yourself in any way. And if you'd like that, you can say yes. Yes. Do you want to clear release and let go of the fear of using your voice, of speaking your truth? of being able to serve and support the people that you're here to, that you can allow yourself to step into that and that you can move in your own unique baby steps for it. That you can continue to grow and expand and evolve your identity, who you are, how you show up in the world, and that that gets to be your choice. 
you can clearly see that go of being hijacked by the little girl version of you that might get in trouble for speaking up that should just shut up and be quiet and like look pretty that you can clearly see let go of those old societal stories around women and what women should quote do and that you can allow yourself to speak your truth and no longer need to be constricted or cut off from your truth that you can speak it freely without fear that you're going to cause harm to yourself your family or others and that this can be resolved on a history level as well and allow you to see truth as safe now and in future lives would you like that yes and another big thing that can come up for like female light workers especially is the whole like being called a witch or being like burned to the stake or people grabbing their like pitchforks and stuff like that you can clearly some let go of any and all historical stories you've heard around that or past life experiences or ancestral experiences so those can be cleared now to give you freedom in your body that this can be healed on a dna level and that we can send unconditional love and healing energy back throughout any and all generations that came before you and forward through any that are currently here on this earth or that will flow through you and if you would like that you can say yeah yes And you want to clearly let go of the heaviness of being rejected, abandoned, or not loved for speaking your truth, for being bashed or banished, that you can clearly let go of those fears and that you can cultivate the courage and bravery within yourself to always speak your truth. Would you like that? Yes. So like a conscious piece of this is like yeah subconsciously our cavemen brains that have not evolved that much further than caveman times is literally like if i'm not a part of the couple hundred people in my tribe here if i'm banished i don't have enough time and energy in the end of the day to watch myself 24 7 to get enough food for now in the winter to get like clothes to like prepare and fix the house like you would actually die if you were banished from tribes back then so that's like a conscious piece to be like, okay, like this is just a subconscious program coming up and I get to clear it at a deeper level when those things come up to be like, it's safe to do this. And also to have the subconscious piece being a little bit more supported with like, I'm stepping into a different tribe where everyone speaks their truth, where you're celebrated for speaking your truth, that you get to be around like-minded and like-hearted souls who are here to do this work in the world and that's finally safe to do this work in the world. So would you like all those downloads and to reaffirm within yourself that it's time and that you can trust yourself when you feel called to speaking your truth? Would you like that? Yes. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to allow money to flow and circulate in your life. That you can have a healthy dynamic and relationship with money. And that you can have a safe space for money to come in and flow into in your world. Would you like that? Yes. And one thing that I am doing in the course is going to talk a little bit about like buckets for money or like savings accounts or like Excel sheets and stuff like that. That can be part of like the conscious work because money likes structure. So we can't go super deep into that now, but that's like a good conscious thing to be like, okay, if you don't have ways for money to flow in your life where it feels safe and that it's going to be valued and it has a place to stay, then that's something to definitely look at. Um, and you want to know what it looks like and feels like to be of service with your voice right now and to have even bigger impacts in your world and in the worlds of others and that you can clearly some let go of the fear of your success and the fear of shining too brightly that you can clearly some let go of the need to dull your shine and that you can instead step forward into it do you like that yes so how's all of that feeling really good Yay. Good. Yes. Awesome. Feeling complete? Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. My pleasure. Okay. So, Nicole, you're the next on my list if you would like to jump in the hot seat. Yeah, definitely. Thanks. Yay. So, what would you like to clear, love? Bye bye. Um, for me, a few different things. One, just allowing myself to feel 
safe in my body. I feel like from like past past sexual trauma, Mm -hmm. there's like this past pattern to like disconnect. Mm -hmm. And so just allowing myself to like know that it's safe to be in my body and it's safe Mm -hmm. to receive pleasure Mm -hmm. and just allowing myself to receive more and more pleasure and always and in turn, allow myself to even be more comfortable receiving larger numbers Mm. through my business or unexpected income as well. Yeah. And yeah, like just the past tendency to like want to numb out, whether it's through food, whether Mm -hmm. it's through scrolling through Facebook or just ignoring whatever it is that I need to do and like Mm self-sabotaging. So like clearing that and allowing myself to be seen more and give more and just follow my heart and not listen to the gurus or the mentors, even if my heart is like telling me to do something else to like, just have that courage to follow it. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing that's been coming up with like me making more and more money is like, feeling, I think we kind of touched on that with someone else's feeling like being scared that I'm maybe going to lose it or some stuff is coming Mm. up now around like taxes or things like that. Mm. And I know consciously what I need to do, but I know there's something like lingering energetically Mm -hmm. of just like knowing, like, of course you're going to have more than enough to cover that. Like, it's all good. Like it's Mm. okay to make more, like you're not going to go back to like struggling and sacrifice and all that yeah and all these are like totally normal and very very common so do you want to clear release and let go of all the heaviness around that and the fears mm-hmm. that have been coming up and the self-doubt and the self-sabotage and the worry that you can't sustainably have the amount of success or pleasure that you desire that if you get something that could get taken away that the other shoe could drop. Do you want to clear those? Yes. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to feel safe in your body right now in this present moment that you can allow yourself to clear, release, and let go of any and all past cell trauma, frozen trauma, shock, and harm and pain in your body that that can be cleared completely on all levels now and that you can give yourself permission to release it with ease, that this doesn't have to be brought up in this present moment. You don't have to analyze it. You don't have to understand what exactly is being released and let go, that this old suppressed energy that no longer serves you can be released with ease. Would you like that? Yes. Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to allow at a deeper level the pleasure, enjoyment of life, fun, adventure, money, bliss into your world that you can allow yourself to expand exponentially into your ability to receive pleasure and receive money with ease and that you can clear at least and let go of the fear that it's going to be taken away, that you'll have a high and then a low, and that you can understand from your higher powers perspective how you can can continue to build wealth on itself, build pleasure on itself, and that you can expand your ability to receive it completely in all levels and identify with this next level version of yourself now. Would you like that? Yes. And you want to know who you are and what your life looks like at this new level, that you can embody it now, that you know what your business looks like, what your life looks like, what your relationships with a partner, with your family, with your friends, with your clients looks like, and how you can embody new levels of boundaries and ways to communicate to yourself, to these people, and to the universe, that this is your new normal. Would you like that? Yes. And you want to know what it looks like and feels like to create new bare minimums by your new maximums that every time you hit a new level that you break through a ceiling or receive new amounts that this can be your new low and that you can continue to grow and expand way beyond that. Do you like that? 
Yes. Do you want to clear release and let go of the habit and the hijacking of your life of needing to disconnect? You can instead bring awareness right before it happens, that you can bring loving, compassionate awareness to your choice to disconnect and that you can make a conscious choice if it feels good to numb out, to watch some TV, to scroll, to eat a little chocolate bar, that you can have choice to do that without it hijacking your system. Do you like that? Yes. So one thing I sometimes get my clients to do is try it like a self-care list where it's like, these are all the wonderful, awesome self-care things. And there can be like free or cheap things on there or very lavish and expensive, like spa things and all that. And then on the other side is a list of the like limiters. So it's like, I'm going to drink one glass of wine so that you can be like, cool, right now I really want to fucking numb out. And instead of going to like eat everything in the pantry, be like, hey, I'm mm. taking my ice cream out. I'm getting a bowl. I'm putting the ice cream in a bowl and I'm having one bowl of ice cream or I'm having one glass of wine or one square of my lint chocolate. I'm choosing to do this. And then you can flip to the other side of the self-care list and be like, what can I do now? Or if you're like, mm -hmm. I'm still really fucking stressed. Then you can be like, cool. So I'm going to spend time it half an hour on Facebook scrolling mindlessly or one show and then tune in and check in and be like, how do I feel now? Can I book a session with my healer now? Can I do something else that's more supportive? Can I get on my yoga mat? Can I do one other little thing that'll move me towards something feeling better? But that's a choice that you're doing instead of just like going completely unconscious, being like, huh, yeah. how did a month go by? Whoops. <laughs> right. I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. Um, and you want to open yourself up to the ability to receive income unexpectedly, to be an affiliate partner for, for uh, um, yeah, point point venture partner of some kind where you can receive different amounts of commission or affiliate income or from like calendar systems that you can like allow yourself to receive from a variety of different streams that you can allow yourself to do so without feeling bad or guilty about sharing about them. Would you like that? Yes. Do you want to clear release and let go of the need to numb out in a specific way? that can allow yourself to have deeper choice and more loving, supportive ways that you can help your body and move forward in a more healthy way long-term that you can cultivate healthier practices within yourself and within your life to do so. And that you can clear release and let go of the parts and pieces of yourself that have beat you up in the past for it, that have judged you harshly, where your negative inner critic has like downward spiraled around it. That you can clear release and let go of that pain and suffering allow you to choose to move forward with ease, speed, grace, joy, and love, and that you can forgive yourself completely on all levels for any previous experiences that did not go so well. Would you like that? Yes. <sighs> Do you want to know what it looks like and feels like to give yourself total and complete permission to listen, listen to your heart and your intuition over everything? You can clearly some let go of the stories of this is the only way to do things by gurus or old mentors or old ways of doing things. So you can clearly some let go of that like tight knit cook, like cookie cutter ABC is the only way plans, and that you can allow yourself to have deeper freedom in choosing your unique way, your unique, beautiful, expansive, pleasurable, joyful, fun, adventurous way of success in this world, and that you can be a way shower for that. Do you like that? Yes. And you want to know how you can step into the courage, braver, bravery, and vulnerability to make this own, make this your own path, and to clear release and let go of the worries and doubts and self-sabotage of stepping forward in this, that you can see what lessons you've been trying to learn around it that have been holding you back to this point, that this can be marked as complete now, and that you can clear release and let go of the fear of it not working out or it not working out long term that it might make you look crazy or it might be a bad decision. Do you want to clear those? Yes. Do you want to clear release and let go of the fear that you're going to lose your money, that taxes are going to be higher, that taxes are going to take all of your profits, that you're not smart enough yet in how to run a business or how to be a CEO in your business, that you can clear release and let go of 
all those fears, all those worries, all those judgments of yourself, and that you can clearly release and let go of the fear that you could go back to struggle, that you could go back to scarcity or go back to self-sacrifice or just sacrifice of your life and business in general, that you can allow yourself to choose a new path and way forward, and that you know that it's completely safe on all levels now, and that it's your birthright to be successful, and that you can own your birthright for pleasure. Do you like that? Yes. Okay, so like obvious conscious piece of that is like look at taxes, like set up an appointment with your accountant and like have a savings account where taxes just go every month where you're like cool at the end of the year or quarterly or however they need to get paid in your state, like that they're good. Um, And then your money will be like, cool, it's safe here. Like I can keep flowing here. It's like good to treat money with respect like that. Yeah. Perfect. How's all that feeling? You look a little bit frozen. How's all that doing for you? Good. Can you hear me? Awesome. Yes, I can. You are back. <laughs> Feeling complete? Yeah, I'm so sick. You know, I feel like something that's coming up for me is just like allowing myself to be the leader and not thinking that I need to like take more training or do something mm. like to like I have been approached to like teach some like a modality as my own, right? Mm-hmm. Like create my own modality and train others in it. And there's this part of me is like, yeah, fuck yes, I'm excited. But a part of me that's like, well, maybe I need to get more training or who am I to do this yet? It's like, I know that I don't need these things. And so just like being able to own like my zone of genius and my brilliance and be able to like not sabotage like, well, oh, I need to think about this. I need to do that to where like, I'm not taking action immediately. Things are kind of hanging in the air and it's Mm -hmm. like, kind of like that energy behind it's kind of like fizzling out Mm -hmm. okay and this can be like a big one and a deep one and we're kind of like coming up on time so I'll touch on it but like there's way more I'm like literally earlier today I had a client that we literally like spent half an hour (laughs) on how they don't need like university degrees they don't need more things on the wall and all that kind of stuff so this can be like a very deep thing that we can get into but for now do you want to clear release and let go of the fear that you're not good enough yet that you need even more trainings, that you need even more external social proof, that you need someone that's an authority above you to gold stamp you, to give you a permission slip or approval letter to move forward, that you can clearly some let go of that and give it to yourself now. That you can trust in your higher power and your higher self that the work that you're doing in the world is important and that you get to show up and serve with your own unique skills, traits, ability, and wisdom right now that you no longer need to hold yourself back until you get a piece of paper or a stamp of, appro- stamp of approval from someone external from you. That you can internally source it for yourself and that you can allow yourself fully and completely now to be a leader, to allow yourself to be the full expression of yourself that the world needs right now in this moment and that you can continue to grow and expand your own inspired action steps as you move forward on your journey. Yes. <sighs> and you want to clear release and let go of the fear that people won't sign up for it unless you have more trainings more letters after your name someone else externally giving that that stamp that you think that you used to think that you would need that you can clear release and let go of the fear of creating your own modality and instead tune into the impact and support that it will give the world when you step in and you fully shine your light with it and that you can really deeply connect to the incredible souls you'll be serving through this and that you can clear release and let go of the I'm not there yet that you can allow yourself to be her be there now flowing completely and that you can allow yourself to cultivate this with ease and be in alignment with the people environments and situations that will allow you to co-create this into the world with so much ease, be grace, joy, and love. Do you like that? Yes. And how's all that feeling? Feels good. I feel, yeah, I feel good. I feel like more grounded. Mm, Beautiful. Yay. Awesome. Okay, so Hannah said, ooh, that's powerful. Kelly, this came up for me this week too. Awesome. I love that like like always attracts like on these calls. Um, 
and then Natalie will catch the rest on the replay. Thank you so much, Laura. You're welcome, love, and I'll see you tomorrow in the group. Okay, so I think Caitlin popped on, but I think she popped off because I don't see her. I don't see her anymore. Okay, is that feeling complete for you, Nicole? Awesome. Mwah. Lovely. Okay, so thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. All right, so that was everyone who had messaged me beforehand that definitely wanted to get in the hot seats. So right now I'm going to share the invitation for the course and then I'll open it up for one more question or something else. Okay, so if I share my screen, because I have a million or two screens open, <laughs> to share the six week increase your impact and income course. So it starts tomorrow. Technically, we did our first kind of bonus beginning call last Tuesday because with everything that started going on in the world at the beginning of this month, I felt best in kind of like pausing my launch, but I still wanted to honor the beautiful souls who had said yes. So I did do a recorded call that just went into like the general clearing for what was going on for them. So that's already in the group. So you can get immediate access to that. So starting tomorrow, Tuesday, June 23rd, we're gonna have six weeks together in this container. Um, to really allow you to move forward and build incredible momentum and increasing your unique impact in the world and raising your income. If that's to hit your first 5K, 10K, 15K months, like to grow you to that level so you can really be showing up as serving from your overflow, a feeling really good that you get to live all your heart's desires now and that you can stop putting things off into the future. So essentially like the gap is if you're not having the income right now that you want, this course will help you. If you're not having the impact that you know that you're here to serve and support so many more people right now, this course will help you. This is going to deep dive into the seven main areas I was talking about. So the subconscious limiting beliefs, visibility, throat chakra stuff, all the money mindset things. We're going to go so deep into money mindset, show you how you can have your own unique inspired action, your harmonization of your masculine and feminine energies, your next level boundaries so that you can fully and completely step into the next level version of you in a safe way and the conscious 3D work. So we're going to go super deep over the next six weeks into all of those and 90 minute live group calls. So it's going to be at this time, only tomorrow. So 8 p.m. Atlantic, 7 Eastern or Pacific. If you have other ones like Australia or Europe, please do your own time conversions. I'm sorry, I can't do them all. <laughs> um, and recordings are always available within 24 hours. So it's in the group and you also have private mentorship. So um, it's going to be on like my website. You'll have infinite access. As long as YouTube is available, you'll have lifetime access because I host things on YouTube and then push them into my website. Um, so you'll have access to that there because some people were like, maybe I'll do it next time. And I'm like, mm, I'm moving a lot more into like the sexuality space. I'm doing like two other certifications right now. So I'm continuing to growing. So it's not on my docket to do this again, definitely not live. So if you're feeling called to it, you can do it now. If you're not able to join the calls live, you can always send in your questions beforehand. So if you give me heads up 24 hours before, even if you are gonna be on live and you're like, I really, really, really wanna clear this thing, let me know what questions you have, what limiting blue systems are coming up, what issues are coming up in your world so that I can continue to move you forward. Okay. So we're also going to have the bonus Facebook community so that you can ask your questions Monday to Friday during the week, and I'll be there to serve and support you. Um, you can be held accountable in the group for what you're doing as homework. You can post your homework in there. I'm also like super friggin' ninja at looking at people's ideal life lists, ideal client lists, whatever you have for like life vision statement, things that you're wanting and desiring to really call into your life. If you write it down and send it to me in the Facebook group, I will look at it and be like, ooh, that little shift, like that one word, if you tweak it to something else, you'll be more in alignment with it. You'll bring it into your world with ease. Um, what that sometimes looks like is people will be like, I don't want to be sick anymore, or I don't want to have debt, so I want to be debt-free. Instead of like, I deeply desire to have 100K savings in a bank account and consistently receive 15K months. Like that would be something way more powerful and in alignment with what you are actually desiring to call in versus focusing more on the negative. So. That's going to be different types of homework support that you'll get in there. So I did have a panful and I'm like, I didn't really want to like totally adjust my like thing because that would just take extra time. And that's not something that brings me joy coming on here and just doing a ton of downloads brings me joy. This is not something that brings me joy. So I'm like, if I keep the fast action on, then how could I do that? So in the next two hours, if you join this program, you will still get the painful fast action. So that's only for the next two hours. Then it's gonna go up to the painful rate. 
So the fast action for the next two hours only is going to be the 997 pay in full or 377 a month for the next three months. And then it'll go to after the next two hours, 1,111 because I love angel numbers pay in full or 444 a month for the next three months. And alumni or current clients, you get reduced rates. And there's also an extended payment plan if you're like three months is still too tight. I don't want money to be the fucking issue that holds any light worker back right now from like serving people. The world needs more helpers, more leaders, and more light workers and coaches and mentors and heart centered entrepreneurs. So I don't want your perceived current limitation around money to hold you back. So I do have an extended payment plan that you can ask me about if you feel called to it. So again, we're deep diving into all of these things your subconscious limiting beliefs visibility, throat chakra blocks, money mindset, money mindset, inspired action, the harmonized masculine and feminine energies in your system, the next level boundaries and the conscious 3D work to ensure that you're moving forward. If this is like the stop and you're like, no, nope, not really super resonating with like doing six more weeks of this, you can also go back to the other workshops, master classes that I did. It's on my YouTube. If you want to go and get the benefits of those, beautiful, amazing, awesome. Like I so honor you and support you for like showing up. And if you're like, this is so coming up in my system, Laura was in my head, these like totally supported me, don't have this pain in my body anymore, this is totally released. And you're like, what would life look like if I clear all of the fucking gaps that have been coming up for me? And I just clear, release and let go of them and have a focused container of amazing, incredible light worker souls who are so excited and focused on increasing the impact and income over the next six weeks like your life can get completely changed from that. And it's been super interesting because I had clients who were like, yeah, within like the six months that we're together, maybe I'll hit my first 5k month. And they hit it like <laughs> within three months. And then people who are like, mm, the highest I've ever made is 10k, but I would like to hit 15k in our time together. And again, we have a six month container to do it. And they literally worked with me for fucking one month and their income was around like a thousand, couple thousand, back to without like up and down low because I hit a high, which can happen with sometimes when we don't have the capacity to hold the energy of money, you can hit like a new high. So they hit last year, a new high of 10K and then went down to everything lower ever since. So when we cleared release let go of their subconscious self-sabotage around that and fear of not being able to hold that money and receive it and be safe to have that money, they literally like within one month of working with me went, psh, way beyond the 10k let's hit a new k like 15k is what they hit so I'm like literally if you are ready to do this work and you're here to show up for it and you're like heart and soul is calling you to it you can have these types of amazing shifts in your world you get to choose how to show up and if you feel called to private you can also have those conversations with me too so there's so many ways that you can move forward on your journey to support you so again it's a seven week small group program it'll be Tuesdays at eight Atlantic. 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. So next two hours, you can get the fast action. So that's 997. So you save 114 just in the next two hours. Or you can do the installments, which is 377 a month for the next three months. And also, if you want like an extended payment plan, let me know. Again, for the next two hours, I'm going to include those early bird bonuses. So right now, it's the Manifesting 101 workshop and Clearing Money Blocks 101. So you can just go really deep dive into all the money stuff that's been holding you back, all the negative belief systems around money, bills, savings, spending, identities of wealthy people that you can clear release and let go of all that before we even start. <laughs> or during the start, if you're like, oh my God, I can't watch all this content by tomorrow. And then manifesting 101 is literally like getting you so in tune with your be, do, have. What, like you're truly here to have in this world, how you're showing up to be in this caliber of the next level version of yourself. And how you're here to show up, what you're here to do. So be do have can get really, really deep. Um, manifesting 101 is literally like a four hour deep dive day, but it's broken down into little modules. So you can do it in bite sized pieces. So those $147 of early, early bird bonuses, say that 10 times fast, will also go away in the next two hours. But I wanted people who felt really, really called to it right now to still get the benefits. And I also didn't really want to change my slides. So you guys get all kinds of benefits. So the painful fast action for the next two hours is this. I guess I'll also call copy in this because that'll just be easier. If you're watching Facebook, because someone was like, can you post this now? If you are in Facebook right now, you can take a screen cap of what the current slide looks like so you can keep it and then type that into your 
browser. So the fast action is the 997 for the next two hours. So right now it's 944 Atlantic, so that's 844 Eastern and 444, ooh, Pacific. So if anyone likes those ancient numbers, <laughs> um, so the next two hours from now, that's how long I'll keep those benefits in for. So if you feel like it might be better, if you're already like kind of at the 5K-ish mark, or you're already at 10K, it might be better to work with me privately too. So you can get access to the course. So you don't have to do all this work just in our private sessions, but we can go even deeper in private sessions. So if you're already kind of more at the 5K level, working privately might work a little bit better for you right now. So I'll pop this into the chat. And then I'll also put it on Facebook after, or you guys can just go back and watch the replay like the second before I said this. And then I'll take more questions, anything else. If you have a question about the course, all those things, I'm here to serve and support you lovely ladies. Or if you guys are good, you can let me know you're good. And we went beyond 90 minutes, so thank you. How many people are typically in the groups? Right now I have two people, so it's gonna be a super small group. And I was just like, I keep being called to like doing this because I'd have a number of people who would wanna do private work with me and they couldn't afford it. So I was like, okay, universe, I'm going to support the people who can't afford it right now and have this. So I felt called to doing it. People jumped right in who wanted it. And then I'm like, cool, anyone else who wants to join can also get these benefits. So in the future, my plan will be that for my private clients as they come in, that they're going to get this. So all my private clients right now get all access to my digital recordings. So all the things that I've ever recorded over the past three-ish plus, yeah, three-ish plus years, um, they get all that access at the beginning so that they can do all kinds of work on their own time and they don't just need to be on a call with me to get benefits. So that also is supportive because like if they're on WhatsApp and they're like, oh my God, this is coming up for me, then I can be like, okay, go watch Clearing Money Blocks. Or if they're like super stressed about something, I'll be like, okay, cool, go watch the like how to let go of stress and worry module like I get to direct people to that so right now there's two people so if you lovely ladies would like to get a lot more one-on-one -on -one attention a lot more hot seats um the way that these calls are going to work is that I'm going to have content designed for the first part of the calls and then I'm going to open it up for everyone's energies because that's what I'm super good at is tuning into your guys's energies what's going on in your world right now so we can clear release and let go of what's actually happening and move you forward with so much momentum you're welcome. Any other questions? You're welcome. My pleasure. Yeah. Send you guys lots of love. Awesome. Okay, so it's looking like everyone's good. Kelly, are you good? Everyone else is saying thank you. And if we're good, then we can say goodbye. Unless Kelly's just away from her computer right now. <laughs> awesome. So send you guys lots and lots and lots of love. Thank you guys for showing up and for being here and doing the work in the world and being incredible light workers. And thank you for being the change. The world needs it so, so, so much right now. So I honor you guys so much. And I'm sending you lots and lots of love and light. Good night. <laughs>